to over 50, so what? Fun, fitness, wellness, and inspiration. And welcome to Middlelessence. Middlelessence is like adolescence, only 30 years later. According to the Harvard Business Review, Middlelessence, just like adolescence, can be a time for self-discovery, new directions and new beginnings. So what if you're over 50? Middlelessence, now is the time for you to explore and try new things. Maybe follow your passions and your interests. The children might have left home. You might have paid off all or most of your house. And now's the time for new directions and new beginnings. Age is just a number. Over 50, so what? Maybe now's the time to take up cycling or pottery or learn Italian or go traveling or start a new career. In today's show, we have Energy for Life, where we look at tips and strategies to keep yourself healthy and vital into your 90s. We have the bucket list, where we look at things to put on your wish list. Everyday legends, where we meet someone who is inspiring. And of course, every week we have a live and kicking, where we do a fun fitness routine. So be sure to stick around for that. Life is short. Let's go exploring together. Energy for life. Tips for staying vital and healthy as long as possible. We've talked about movement is life. Anything is better than nothing and start wherever you are now. Today, we're gonna to be looking at where are you going in the future? Now, I'm originally from New Zealand, and when Dad was around, I'd ring him every couple of weeks or so and see how he was going. And I'll never, ever forget this particular time. I gave him a call. How are you going, Dad? My dad was so excited, he was jumping up and down on the end of the phone. He couldn't wait to tell me. Dad had just passed his driver's license. Dad was 92. It meant that he could keep driving until he was 94. 94. He said to me, do you think I'm going to make it? I said, yes, Dad, I think you might just do it. And Dad was still driving to 93 and a half. Imagine that. So, what are you going to be doing in your 90s? What condition will you be in? We've looked at all the benefits of exercise. Well, not all of them. We haven't looked at the importance of strength training. That is resistance exercise, using a band, using hand weights, strength training. The benefits for doing strength training is that you end up living independently for longer in your own home. Why? Because you can still carry all your shopping. You can still move the furniture, do work in the garden, pick up the children or the grandchildren by keeping your muscles strong. And another benefit of keeping strong muscles, especially the quads here, the legs, is false prevention. It prevents the likelihood of you falling. And if you do trip, you're more likely to catch yourself as well. So strong bones is another one. Strong muscles, less false prevention, strong bones. Helping with the prevention of osteoporosis. So fitting in some strength training with other fitness work is absolutely fabulous. So all those things that exercise does for you, helps prevent diabetes, Alzheimer's, dementia, great for stress, anxiety, depression, your cardiovascular system, strong bones, strong muscles, false prevention. If people could get a pill or a tablet that had all those things in it, 
they'd be rushing out to buy it. Well, the exercise pill is easy to swallow. It's easy. And all you have to do is 10 exercises a day or five minutes a day and that's it. And if you want more five minute fitness routines, there's lots on our YouTube channel, so be sure to check them out. My dad walked or swam every day and he ended up living independently in his own home until he was 93. We'd all want that, wouldn't we? So keep at it and that could be you too. Today we're doing strength and balance. So we're gonna do some leg bends, which is great for strengthening your quads and it's also gonna help with your balance. So when you're doing a squat, just make them small to start with, little knee bends, make sure those knees are right over the toes. And as you get fitter, take your bottom down. Now, having a chair is fantastic. So just practicing standing up and sitting down is great for developing the strength in your quads. That's it, that's how easy it is. Now, whatever you do, do not take your bottom below your knees. So if you're feeling confident, you feel like you're pretty strong and you wanna do it without the chair, please make sure that the bottom always is at knee height or above, just to take the stress off those knees. So enjoy your routine and when you're finished, give yourself a pat on the back. Go for it.
four more. Four, three, two, one. And we go. Bend and bend. Bend and bend. Bend and bend. See the blood's all circulating around your body, circulation's improving. You're burning calories, keeping strong. Now we're going back to slow. Down and up. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. Down and squeeze. to do in the future and today we're looking at the activities section of your buckets list we know physical activity is fantastic for our well-being especially as we age now how about putting physical activity with other people and that's where the benefits are even more enhanced especially for our mental health for depression anxiety and overcoming the effects of self of isolation Today, we're going to look at a team sport. Now, you might have been playing a team sport in the past. You love team sports, but you think it's just too much for you now. It's a bit too dangerous. So today, we're going to look at life ball. Now, life ball, you may or may not have heard of it, is a combination of netball and basketball. It was designed by Colleen Wilson Lord, OAM. It's a very safe game. So there's no bounce passes, no overhead passes, no running, no walking backwards. Even the goal has been amended or adjusted so that it's eye level and it's a few meters beyond the end line. So it's a very, very safe game. There is six players in each team and you play a position and then you change positions. So by the end of the game, everyone has played in every position. So it's lots of fun. It's now being done by over 2,000 people around Australia. If you want to look at doing a team sport, try out Life Ball. Contact us through Facebook or YouTube or the website. They say that Life Ball is the game you play for life. So. Give it a go.
Everyday Legends. This is where we meet people who inspire us, people that seem to be living an inspired life. And today's Everyday Legend is Colin Wilson Lord, OAM. Colin has been working tirelessly for decades to improve the health and well-being of our senior community in metropolitan and regional areas. She spent over 40 years in the fitness and wellness industry and has been involved in launching many national programs, including Walking for Pleasure, Gentle Exercise, Aqua Fitness, Healthy Lifestyle Vacations, Nordic Pole Walking. So we'll hear about pole walking at some episode in the future and life ball, the team sport that she developed that combines netball and basketball and is now being done in over 70 locations around Australia. Well past retirement age, Colleen still holds positions as Director of Healthy Lifestyle Health Promotion Services and Community Education and Development Community Fitness Australia. Her programs are being conducted throughout 50 organisations across Australia. In 91, she was awarded the Order of Australia Medal and in 2005, she was nominated for Australian of the Year. She holds many other accolades, including the Advanced Australia Award, the Australian Fitness Industries Lifetime Achievement Award, the New South Wales Premier's Seniors Week Achievement Award and a fellowship with the Australian Council for Health, Physical Education and Recreation. I asked Colleen three questions and these are the answers in her own words. The number one thing which keeps me motivated is not to be a burden to my family, to keep healthy and active. I've had numerous accidents over the years and have been through heaps of rehabilitation and have pushed through knowing that I can do it. Even when I was on chemotherapy two years ago, I was determined that I would somehow crawl out of bed and do my exercises. I knew this would give me the headspace to stay positive. One last thing that motivates me is I don't think old. I have a lot of younger colleagues who keep me on my toes and I try hard to think young, as really inside of all of us is the younger version. Eight years ago, I wrote down my goal to learn tap dancing. I've got the shoes and now a bit more time, so I've decided to have a go at home and see what happens. I do have osteoporosis, so I need to be a bit wary of falling, but I am going to give it a go. I'm learning to play the bass guitar and really would like to pursue this further as my husband Brian is a muso and it's something we can enjoy together. Last thing on my bucket list is getting a camper van and doing some more traveling around Australia. My priority is to spend more time with the ones I love. I really don't think we have it together until we're over 50. For me, turning 50 was the new beginning as I sorted out a lot of things in my life and started to make the most of the years I had ahead of me. One thing I decided was to not look back on the past mistakes or hurdles like a broken marriage, etc. Instead, to see these hurdles as learning bridges which have given me the strength and insight into making better decisions in the future. I also decided to make the most of my life and stop sweating the small stuff, as most of the things we worry about are small stuff. We need to make sure we keep time and energy for ourselves, our health and wellness. Don't leave it too late to do some of the things that you've been wanting to do for years as quite often health issues get in the way and then it's too late. Colleen Wilson-Lord, Everyday Legend. Thanks for watching Over 50, So What? 
fun, fitness, wellness and inspiration. Middlelessence is like adolescence, only 30 years later. A time for exploring and trying new things. We hope today's show has inspired you to try some new things and maybe, just maybe, do a little more exercise. If you would like some more fitness routines, be sure to jump on YouTube, check them out. We'd love to hear your stories, hear your comments, hear your suggestions. And if you know anyone who's inspiring in the community, just drop us a note through Facebook, YouTube, or the website. This show is for you. Remember, the small things make the big difference. Five minutes a day and you're on your way. Keep strong, be active, stay safe. I look forward to seeing you all again soon. I'm Carol, over 50, so what? our TV show. Be sure to hit subscribe and we'll send you the latest TV episodes and videos. Like our Facebook page and please send us your comments, your stories and any inspiring people that you know. Over 50, so what?